Right, today's Staff Tech video is some turbo tech. And as you know, I love whole set turbos. And this is, kind of unsurprisingly, about whole sets. One whole set, two whole sets. This is HE211W, and this is HE221W. They're some of the newest small frame whole sets you can get. And in all honesty, they're better than a similar Garrett, like a GT 2860RS for example this thing spools faster makes more boost, makes more power and can, is more efficient at high boost this thing's, well both of these turbos are proven efficient even at over 3 bar boost and this little thing here it is capable of 380 brake well some people claim 400 but the compressor map shows 380 but this is the unusual thing about it as you might be able to tell if you're into Subarus these are actually direct Subaru fitment they aren't Subaru fitment from the factory from the factory these turbos are conventional T2 flange but you can very easily modify them so they will be direct fit on a Subaru as you can see here and this video is basically showing you how all the small frame whole sets, so these plus the original HX25 and 27s, were built in conjunction with Mitsubishi, who make the famous TDO4 turbos and TDO5 turbos and so on. And these are actually based, well they're not based, they are almost like the ultimate evolution of a Mitsubishi TDO4 turbo. They share some of the same parts and some of the things are interchangeable but generally they're like an ultimate higher flow inversion with better compressor and turbine wheels that flow more and are more efficient and so on. Starting with this one, the HE211W, it's good for about 320 horsepower. That's what the compressor map says on the normal version. But this version has got a bigger compressor inducer which makes it good for about 350 horsepower. It's also got a bigger compressor housing. This is a standard TDO4 Impreza compressor housing. And you can see it's a bit bigger. It's about, you go back to back, around about an inch bigger in diameter. Um, the main difference is this inducer is about three or four mil bigger than the standard one. That's the standard one. Standard TDO4 L13T is good for about 300 brake when pushed really hard, whereas this one is good for about 50 more, plus it's far more efficient at high boost, which makes the engine overall far better. Obviously, with a more efficient compressor, you've got less turbine work happening, so you've got less pre turbine back pressure as well, which obviously helps power and just general reliability. This 211 has got the same exact size turbine wheel as a TDO4 L like you find in countless two roofs so Legacies, Impreza's, Foresters and so on as well as millions of other different cars but anything with a TDO4 L turbo you can basically take the housing off that and fit it straight to a HE211 turbo and make it a direct fit for your application all the Impreza's with a TDO4 L turbo this is just the housing which I've bolted straight on is literally one 10 mil clamp and it's on and you can fit the turbo straight to your car and with Impreza's having funny flanges bolt on turbos usually have a really high priced or crap whereas these are awesome spec very powerful turbos that you can get for about 500 quid brand new um, the core here is rotated able to be rotated 360 degrees so you can line that up perfectly and even the standard actuator bracket is in the right sort of place on the compressor housing so the outlets go in the right direction and everything all you need to do is maybe either get a longer actuator because this one's just a bit short or re-drill the bracket to move it back about an inch and job done you've got a 350 brake capable high boost capable very efficient, very reliable, brand new whole set turbo for about 500 quid. You could either reuse your original TDO 4 hour housing or just buy one off eBay because you can get a whole Chinese TDO 4 hour turbo for about 100 quid on eBay these days. So just use the housing, scrap the rest if you want, or sell it to somebody. 
And um, yeah, you've got an awesome hybrid turbo as a direct fit to your Impreza for very little money. Yeah, this one here I'm going to sell. I no longer need it. And it's brand spanking new and awesome. And I sell this. I'm going to put it on eBay for 500 quid. I would take 450 away from eBay plus about a ton of postage. So if anyone wants that, give me a shout. Or even after this one's sold, there's loads of these available. Um, you want to get the larger compressor version, ideally, if you want the full 350 brake capable one. Compressor Racing's got a bunch of them in stock. Smaller compressor one, which is good for about 320 brake, which is still an upgrade from the standard TDO 4 l but not as big as this one. The next step up is this much more famous whole set, the whole set HE221W. Good about 380 brake. Some say it's a touch over 400. It's got a billet compressor wheel, 61 millimeter overall compressor, which is actually bigger than a Garrett GT2860 RS. But it's a much better design. Um, even as standard, these are set to run over 30 psi boost, and they're efficient to about 45, 50 psi, which is more than almost anybody will run. They spool really fast. People see over 30 psi under 3000 RPM on a 2 litre, they are very very good turbos. And again, can be made direct Subaru fitment. These are also TDO4 based, but they're based on the TDO4 HL, which isn't on any Subarus as standard, it's on a lot of things like Volvos and Saabs, all, a lot of them are TDO4 HL. But you can buy aftermarket TDO4 HL housings very cheaply, I think this one cost me um, £100, £110. People like Mamba and Kinagawa and all these places sell them because a TDO4 HL is an upgrade fitment for an Impreza. But this is a super upgrade because it's like an ultimate TDO4 HL. Much better compressor. Same size turbine wheel as a normal HL but with a much better design. Both of these turbos have got you can't really see in this light unfortunately but they are um, much more efficient 11 blade compressors compared to the normal TDO4 12 blade ones and they flow a lot more and they just generally work a lot better but they fit straight in housings. The TDO4 HL turbo wheel is only slightly smaller than a TDO5 turbo wheel and they're good for people say up to about 400 horsepower so you can see why these are so good because the TDO5 again is an older design 12 blade less efficient and only slightly smaller. So this one, a more efficient 11 blade, basically makes all the power a TDO5 could, but spools much faster. The compressor outlets on these are V-band ones, but you can easily, with any V-band, either fit the correct clamp, machine this down and fit a normal hose clamp on it, which is especially easy on the 211, or weld a different one on. Again, with the this 221, the actuator is slightly too short, but all you need to do is either change the actuator or modify the bracket a bit, and there's your lengthened one, and it's good to go. Again, the oil lines and everything are easy to line up, and it would all fit as per standard with the compressor outlet going that way, turbo inlet straight up, rotate the oil feed slightly, and it's there, and you're done. Again, this 221, I don't need any more, so I'm going to be selling this. Once again, 500 quid on eBay, but I'll sell it away from eBay for 450. And there's no way you're going to get a better turbo for an Impreza as direct fit for that kind of money. Or even if it's not direct fit, these are awesome bits of kit for very little money. It's amazing more people don't use them on Subarus already, but I don't think people realise how easy they are to fit. Most people think they're just T2 flange turbos, but they can be changed very easy to fit on anything with a TDO4 HL or TDO4 L turbo housing. I've got some compressor map um, things I will post up at the end of this video including comparisons to some other turbos but generally these things are well proven I've seen 221's as like twin turbos on 2JZ's even and they're making like over 700 horsepower at only 1.5 bar and spooling up literally out of nothing and these things 
even on, I've seen a little 1.6 litre indirect injection diesel run one of these, and even that was on full boost by about 2,500 RPM, so imagine how fast the sinks falls on a bigger engine, it would just be a beast. You wouldn't want to run that on a 2.5 litre Subaru, but a 2 litre would be perfect, and this on a 2 or 2.5 two would spool up like anything, because these, as I've said, proven at 30 psi by under 3000 rpm about 2700 even on a 2 litre so yeah they're weapons so yeah hope this helps and uh, give me a chat if you want to buy one